everybody, one of ways near 2.40 a.m. Sunday, November 8th. I am freezing tired, and apparently I'm kind of losing my voice. So, where we just left off, we had thrown down turbocharged Donkey Kong. We took him through his base upgrades, got all the numbers analyzed, all that good stuff. So, since it is special, this is Dark Turbocharged Donkey Kong. After all, he's exclusive to the Dark Edition of the Wii U. He's the first Amiibo lander along with Bowser. We're going to go ahead and we're going to log his base upgrades here, but uh, since the last video ran a bit long, roughly 30 minutes or so, ideally these would be f 10 to 20 really. Uh, 15 would be perfect with all everything piled in. Uh, I have no issues with them being 8 to 12 minutes if we could fit it in, but uh, what we're going to do since they are special, I want to actually log the supercharged attack damage. But we're going to come in here just real quickly breeze through this. If you want the detailed sort of the blind playthrough style, uh, we did that with Turbocharged Donkey Kong. There will be a link down in the description box. But primary attack, it's the Primate Punch. Uh, it's sort of a 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can kind of see here. 3 and 4. The first one is he slams the barrel down. Aspect 4 of the attack is he essentially vaults off the barrel and then slams it again. So two punches. Barrel slam one, barrel vault. So the cool thing, all of these do 25 to 38, 25, 25, and then 35, 35. So 25 to 38 on one and two, 35 to 53 on three and four. Secondary attack is the barrel toss. I'm coming way over here. Why? Because this thing has great range, actually. Uh, 25 to 38 is the attack damage that that does. And if you get close quarters, he goes from a toss, like you see here, to a barrel slam, like you see here. So basically, instead of just like tossing it towards the enemy, he just basically jumps up, slams it on their head. Note that he can do the attack from the air, as he can also throw his punches and execute the one, two, three, four. That said, we're ready now to check out his upgrade. He's wearing the aviator cap, by the way, I thought it was a good upgrade? fit for him. Uh, particularly because when I was grinding out some cash with him, uh, I was running around in the legendary Sunrunner, and uh, he was my pilot because I needed him that money. So uh, I had just gotten the hat right before the sky gate, and I was like, it's a sign. <laughs> so I have tested the hat. It does not seem to have any impact at all on the attack damage, at least at this point. So that said, our primary, or our first upgrade here is the tertiary. Again, keep in mind, 10 wing sapphires, 20% discount. That is the best you can do. That's as good as it gets in the game. So instead of paying 500 here, we're paying 400. Keep in mind, every upgrade we buy is going to be at the 20% discount rate. So bongo barrel, the tertiary attack. Press X rapidly to slam your barrel down and use it as a bongo. Use your bongos to damage nearby enemies. When you stop, your bongo will continue to play for a short time. Again, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. I think it's uh, <clears throat> probably... I had a Rolo Blizzard this afternoon. I didn't know they made them. And uh, I didn't really feel that great after that. So that's what I'll attribute it to. But for those of you scoring at home, Rolo Blizzards are now a thing. Um, Anyway, what we want to do is take a look at this. Essentially, when we place the bongo, 15 to 23 damage. If we drum on the bongo, 15 to 23 damage. If we just place the bongo and leave, and we're not drumming, instead of doing 15 to 23, it basically does half of that. It does 7 to 11. It stays for roughly 5 seconds unmanned and during those five seconds it can hit off seven instances of damage provided you're within range of an enemy so let's take a look at this we're just going to place it down you'll see the 15 to 23 we're not going to drum it at all we're just going to leave it idle you'll see seven to eleven seven instances of damage uh, roughly five seconds here we go wrong button <laughs> that would have been the right button on the xbox so uh here we go Alright, so we'll do it one more time. I'll try to face out for you. I know what you're thinking. It's like, why don't you place another one down? Well, this is why. You can only have one active. Although, if you were low health and trying to get away from an enemy, you could literally do this, leave a trail, and then you could enter Super Donkey Kong mode or, you know, 
people start lobbing barrels. Like, say this scarecrow is an enemy, the dummy. Uh, we can slam down, slam down. That'll be doing damage, possibly distracting him, and then we can come in and start chucking barrels. So, uh, it all plays in quite nicely, I would have to Can you jump on that? Let's find out. Oh, yeah! I wonder if that keeps it going now. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I had fun while it lasted, so... That's basically that attack in a nutshell. Now, Super DK mode. This is pretty upgrade? cool. He just goes ape crazy here. 560 is the price. You get three attacks from this one. They only mention two. Uh, hold Y, roughly two seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I was looking at my spreadsheet and I was like, it's not 20, but it is. So you hold it for two seconds. Unlike Molten Bowser that we could just stay in perpetually, uh, we had to manually exit it and essentially. You're limited to 20 seconds of Super Donkey Kong mode, so hold Y for 2 seconds, you get 20 seconds of Super DK. I tried to manually exit it, I cannot. If we get hit by enemies, there's a chance it might quicken the timer or take us out, I don't know for sure. But I do know 2 seconds to activate, 20 to run with it. So hold Y to enter Super Donkey Kong mode. When in Super Donkey Kong mode, press X to stomp. Uh, the stomp is going to do 25 to 38, three instances of damage with that, and A to do a barrel roll. The barrel roll is kind of disappointing in the fact that we can't roll for the longest distance as I would prefer. It's just basically like a quick in and out type of a thing, 30 to 45 on the damage front. The game doesn't mention this, but in Super Donkey Kong mode you retain uh, your primate punch, it's just with the barrel fist. And so we basically have, you know, punch one, and then an uppercut, and then a twin slam. So 30, 30, 45, critical 45, 45, 68. If that made no sense, hopefully it will when you see it. <laughs> that's what we're about to do. So, back out of here. And this is what you want to see. So, we're going to enter it. There is no damage when we enter Super DK. That looks pretty sweet when he's dark. But uh, primary attack here, 30, 30, 45, again, there's sort of the slam, the uppercut, and then the twin slam. I forgot it wasn't a punch, it's really more of a ground pound, and then an uppercut, and then a slam. So, entering it again, uh, if we press the A button, that's our barrel roll. It's, you'd go pretty quick, you probably have some immunity to attacks. 30 to 45, I just kind of wish if that lasted five to eight seconds even something seemingly you know minuscule like that we could basically get in the barrel and I could go up the stairs past mags and maybe up to the uh, you know anvil rain or something that would be kind of cool so that's my only complaint there is that we don't get a long duration of rolling uh, and then of course the other attack which we get in Super Donkey Kong mode again. Press X right now, the tertiary, we get the Mongos. You're familiar with those, because we just covered them. But in Super DK mode, you press X. I'm just pressing it one time, we get 25, 25, 25, or 38. And if you obviously rapid tap X, it sort of does like a jungle Kong dance. And as you can see, it's got a really good range, too. <laughs> And it kind of looks funny doing that. What is the range limit on that? Okay. Uh, okay, so I mean, you can't be too far away, but you don't have to be like... For enemies without projectiles, I mean, you could probably get away if they're going to swing at you. So that's what we've got there with Super Donkey Kong. Again, basically three different attack modes available to us. Now uh, this one's cool, it's barrels of fun, that's exactly what it is. 720 with our discount, charge up A, uh, again roughly 1 to 2 seconds is all you have to do there, uh, to be put into an arrow barrel. If you've played any sort of a classic DK game from Rare or anything since then, you probably are familiar with the arrow barrels. While in the barrel, you'll be able to aim around the level and shoot yourself, causing an explosion where you land. Now, when I tested this, it looked like we had two instances of damage right here on the dummy. Uh, against the Greeble, there only seemed to be one. Uh, the way it works, though, is one Mississippi, two. I mean, before I can get to two, 
That was my bad. I let go with one Mississippi. There we go. So, <clears throat> I counted to 35 or 40, and we never shot. So I think you can basically stay in that barrel all you want. When we showcase it here in a second on the training ground up there, the Greebles don't even seem to know that I'm in the barrel. They're just kind of there like, oh, you know, who summons this? You know, what's going on here? And so, assuming the AI in the game follows that same suit, this would be a huge advantage, especially if you play co-op a lot. Uh, if DK gets hurt or something, your buddy can go ahead, clear out the enemies, maybe some food drops or food spawns in, something along those lines, and you can come out from your peril and go get it. Again, we'll have to test that, but that's the way it's looking. Um, <clears throat> You can obviously, if I wanted to shoot right here and just destroy that rock, you just put your cursor over it, it's kind of like your classic Zook mortar shot or something. However, the downside to it, the range isn't massive that you can go, and when you clip the edge of that range, it automatically shoots, so the range is probably near the dummy. Nope. Uh, bad example. <laughs> Let's go this way. Range achieved. That was actually good range there. So, uh, maybe it's this river area that just kind of, yeah, every time that's as far as I get. That just seems like we went farther this way than that way, but you get the idea there. Now, what we'll do here is set it up and hop over here to the dummy. Now, that might have just been the one. So, 60 to 90, though, is the damage out of it, which is pretty good. That looked like two again. I don't know. It's 60 to 90 once, maybe twice. <laughs> so you get the feel for it. If you liked that, or even if you didn't like that, you should love you this. Go, this is very, very cool. It is called upgrades. Old School. 960 is the price. If you have played any classic Donkey Kong arcade games, uh, basically where Mario has to come in and save the damsel in distress type of a deal, or even if you played uh, Smash, and you go in that that's why it's always sucks to do this stage it's fun but uh, if you get rained down upon it's basically like a one-hit kill most of the time at least when my nephew and I play but uh, tap X in Super Donkey Kong mode to cause ladders and girders to fall from the sky you're probably thinking oh, that's that's kind of lame the damage they do is 25 to 38 which again that's not crazy but the great thing is just the sheer number that you can get to fall from the sky within that 20 second time window. It's pretty incredible. Uh, cool thing here, we get the path names. Powder Keg Power is the top one. Uh, bring in some explosive tactics to help defeat enemies. And then down here you got pointy preparations. Upgrade all of your barrels with metal spikes to roll over enemies. So uh, we'll deal with that later. I'll kind of try to size up what we want to do. But what we're going to do now is come in here to Super Donkey Kong mode, and I'm just going to start stomping. <laughs> and uh, you see the ladders, you see the girders, 25 to 38. I can rotate 360, which it doesn't really have any bearing on the radius, I don't think. The only downside is you can't, like, move, you know, on an axis in any direction. So if I start stomping right here, you know, this is where we're going to stay type of a deal. So it is pretty dadgum effective, though. But what we want to do now, I will showcase these moves to you at the end of the video. But I want to get some attack damage numbers. So we're going to pull him. We're going to pull... I shouldn't say attack damage numbers. I should say supercharged attack damage numbers. Have not introduced the standard barrel blaster. So we're going to stick with the dark. Barrel blaster. Uh, it'll supercharge over here. Supercharge. Right. So why do we do this? Because you get supercharged attack damage. That's that's blue aura down there in the corner. And uh, I've logged this already. The primary and secondary attacks. Uh, 32, 32, 46. So 32 to 48, 46 to 69. Standard turbocharged Donkey Kong. Dark. 35, 35, 49 with criticals of 53, 53, 74. So plus three over standard. Again, I don't know why. I'm not going to argue because it's better. Uh, the toss and slam, your secondary attacks, you know, you 
chuck the barrel from a distance, slam it if you're up close. 25 to 38 standard damage for both dark and regular TCDK. Supercharged, turbocharged Donkey Kong. That's a that's something you don't do in the racing world there. But supercharged, turbocharged Donkey Kong. Uh, it's 33 to 50. Yet, dark turbocharged Donkey Kong, when he's supercharged, does 35 to 53, so again, plus two there. Uh, we'll come in now and we will check out Bongo Barrel for the first time. So we're going to place the Bongo, it was previously 15 to 23, once, you know, upon placement, if we drum it, 15 to 23, and then if we leave it idle, 7 to 11. So 15, 23, 15, 23, 7 to 11. Let's see what supercharged Donkey Kong's got going for us. Wrong button. That was the Xbox correct button. So 21. And then... Yeah. So 21 and 10. Alright. So... That means when we drum ourselves, it should also be 21. Let's make sure. Oh yeah, I've got a rapid tap, my bad. You can see the 21 over there, so... Uh, half of 21. Bongo. I'm just gonna say bongo equals 21. Half of that is 10 and a half, 11, so 32. And then idle is going to be equal to 10 to 15. We're going to leave that alone for now, but we're going to have to come back and see what kind of a boost Dark Turbocharged Donkey Kong gets. So, um, Barrels of Fun is what we'll take a look at next. Again, we're doing 60 to 90 with regular uh, Turbocharged and Dark. Let's see what we do Supercharged now. There we are. We do our same little stunts here. Let's blast off. 126. I didn't see an exclamation point there. Okay, 84 to 126, so I guess that was critical. Uh, 84 to 126, so that works for me. Now, I think I only saw one instance of damage. No, there was two again. So I'm still unsure if it's once or twice, but 84 to 126 when we're supercharged as standard turbocharged Donkey Kong. Again, that's a mouthful, but uh, let's go ahead now. And we want to take a look at Super Donkey Kong mode. Uh, the punch was 30, 30, 45 in standard, so let's see what we get here. We're going to enter it. Whoops. So 42, 42, 63. We're going to go ahead and pop that. So, punch, 42. Forty-two, sixty-three. Criticals on that would be 63, 63. Half of 63 would be, what, 31 and a half, right? So that would be 32, so that would be 95. That's some impressive numbers right there on the punch. Uh, and then the roll was doing 30 to 45. So let's see what we get there. We're going to enter supercharge mode. Super Donkey Kong. And is that 42 as well? Looks like it. I'm not 100 sure. Lightning bolt kind of makes it. See, if we could see a 63, we didn't. I'll assume it was 42 to 63. And I'm doing that because that basically matches our punch and roll from last time, so we'll assume it's an incremental thing. And then the stomp, which previously was 25, right? Let's see what we get now. So, super mode, stomp time. Well, we're gonna have to log this though. But we're doing 35, and then all the items are doing 35. This is just nuts. I absolutely love this. So, that is pretty cool. Uh, stomp will be 35, 53 on the critical side. And then that kind of is what old school is going to be too, so uh, that's what we'll go ahead and log there. We'll just put, uh, yeah, that's really all we have to do is 35 to 53. <laughs> Alright, so we got all four of the base upgrades here logged as supercharged, turbocharged Donkey Kong, but we don't have them logged as dark 
supercharged, or I guess supercharged dark turbocharged Donkey Kong, right? So, that's what we're gonna do now, and then I'll try to remember to go up there and play with the Greebles for you. This is the perfect combination, if you will. And again, the aviator hat doesn't have any... Supercharged! And I know what you're thinking, hey, he's gonna do more damage because he's actually paired with his dark vehicle, that's gotta be it. No. Dark Bowser does extra damage over regular Hammer Slam Bowser with both the Dark Clown Cruiser and the Standard Clown Cruiser. So, uh, that's it. Here we are. We are supercharged. And we're going to get going here. The Bongo Barrel, we were doing 21 to 32 placement. And when we drum it with an idle damage of 10 to 15, I'm going to put square brackets in here. That's how we're going to indicate Dark. So, let's come in and we're going to place and drum. Oh, I, I held it accident, so got to remember to rapid tap. So 23, that would mean our critical there it was, 35, how about those apples? So 23 to 35, and then on its own it's doing 11. So 23 to 35, idle equals 11. To 17, right? Because five and a half would be six on this scale of vicarious visions damage numbers. So we got that done. Basically, we're going from 21 to 23, and from 10 to 11. Not a huge deal, but again, it is a different numerical set. The third one we have uh, for this character. So let's go ahead and do uh, barrels of fun. We were doing 60 to 90 standard with either character, supercharged. Turbocharged Donkey Kong clocked in 84 to 126. Square bracket time. Let's see what dark supercharged turbocharged Donkey Kong does. Was that a 90? I think it was. Crit on that would be 135. Oh, yes. And that was two instances of damage there. So I'm inclined to believe that that is possible. But 90 to 135, so 84 to 126 became 90 to 135. Let's do Super Donkey Kong here real quick. We're going to square bracket uh, the punch. Where's my... there's my text. Alright, here we go. Da-da-da. Um, is that 45, 45, 68? Yeah, that's what we're seeing. So the punch is 45, 45, 68, with criticals of 68, 68, not 668, that would be nuts. That's wow pow numbers there, but 68, 68, and then what were we? We were 68, right? Yes, so that would be 34, that would be 102 if we ever get a critical. Not 12, 102. Punch, and then we want to do the barrel roll. Standard was 30 to 45. It was 42 to 63. Uh, supercharged regular form. Let's come in here and see what we got. This is what it'll look like. Damage that it does. Can't see it. Is it 45? I'm pretty sure it is. So, what is 45 to crit? Sixty-eight. So uh, we should have known that. We just did it. <laughs> Again, I am tired. Bear with me. This is the last thing I'm doing tonight, aside from Animal Crossing, which you're not involved in. So if I fall asleep with my 3DS, I just wake up, and the next time I play, Rossetti gripes at me. Not a big deal. It kind of is though, because I usually only do that when I like get really good stuff, <laughs> and then I like wake up, you know, two, three hours later, and. One time I did it and the red light was blinking and I was like, no! Oh! <laughs> I just like went into the spastic fit frantically trying to get my 3DS onto the dock and I did. But then my uh, 3DS charging cradle, I bought one when they gave that to you, you know, back in the day. And uh, I got it down in there and it showed the charge light, but it doesn't always make good connection and then it just, too, black screen. Horrible nights. Horrible night. I think I'd reacquired a wetsuit. And I had a, uh, KK, so it was a Saturday night because I had a KK slider song. And there was something, I think two items uh, and a shirt. There was like three things that weren't in my catalog somehow after multiple years of playing and I had acquired them and it was all lost. The 
because I fell asleep. So that's life. Life I lead, I suppose. <laughs> so, all right, where were we? We got the punch, we got the roll. Now we gotta do the stomp. So uh, standard was 2538, and then of course when we came in here, supercharged, turbocharged, 3553. We should get something better than that. Let's shoot for 40, shall we? Ah, 38. I'll take it. So 38 to 57, if we ever had, we should see a critical in 20 seconds, right? Come on, 50. Yes, did you see it? It exists. 38 to 57. So stomp. Not stomp a. Eh? Stomp 38 to 57. We're gonna close the square brackets to indicate dark. Uh, and then down here on the old school line, we're going to come in and just add 38 to 57. Alright, so that was actually fairly easy to document that stuff now that we're used to it. I'm gonna copy and paste powder keg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't wig out on me, Excel. We haven't saved anything. I'm gonna click that floppy disk. It's so ironic that they still use a floppy disk to save. Like, for a younger generation, like my nephew, they've probably never seen a floppy disk. <laughs> you know, it's not the five and a quarter one, uh, you know, like it was back in the day, but it's a three and a half. It's what I have Commander Keenan Blakestone on that's incompatible with all the latest Windows versions. So, anyway, we've got our uh, standard attack damage numbers documented. They are exactly the same for turbocharged Donkey Kong and dark turbocharged Donkey Kong, as you see here. However, when we supercharge them and log the attack damage numbers, standard turbocharged Donkey Kong, while supercharged, gets the stat boost over both of these two guys in standard form. You have the same thing when you have supercharged dark turbocharged Donkey Kong, but he has slightly better stat damage or attack damage numbers than regular turbocharged Donkey Kong when he's supercharged. Why? I couldn't tell you. I just know it's a thing. And since it is, I feel obligated to log it. And that's what we do here. And now we're going to have some fun. This is the part you've been waiting for. Unless you're a numbers freak or a Skylanders researcher like myself, uh, then you're probably more concerned with the numbers. But what we're going to do is just showcase a few of these. We'll start out with the bongo. Oh, and it's supercharged, too. I always forget to uh, continuously press that. Even though we've got our back to this guy, we took him down, right? And note again, while that's there, you can kind of set, set up attacks, retreat, run around, whatever you need to do. Uh, we'll come in now, and let's just punch these guys. That's pretty cool stuff for us. And what do we want to do now? We'll shoot them. That was my fault. This is basically a one-hit kill. Let me get three of them in here. It's not because of the damage, it's because of the knockback. So again, check it out how they're just oblivious to my existence. They're not swinging, they're like, where'd that guy go? These two guys are toast. They're gonna get shot out of the arena. All three, actually. Dun dun dun! <laughs> so that won't always work, but say that you were in a level with like an edge right here. This was like a cliff with no return you would eradicate the enemies. Now the only downside of that is you don't get XP from them, but the knockback is real on that uh, barrels of fun attack. So Now my personal favorite though, you come in here, and we gotta be in Super DK mode for this. But we're just gonna stomp and rain down the fury of 1980s arcades across the country. Look at this. Give me your Nicholas Greedle. Oh, wreckage. <laughs> Alright. That is some great stuff right there. So uh, we could showcase the barrel roll, I guess, and the uh, other pumps. We're gonna enter super DK mode, punch a little bit. There's a cycle of that. We got a crit on that. That was the one and two. And now we want to roll. We only have 20 seconds to do this, and we executed it beautifully. So uh, this is turbocharged Donkey Kong taken through his base upgrades, and then of course we logged the supercharged attack damage numbers, not only for turbocharged dark, dark turbocharged DK, but also for regular turbocharged DK, so we've got everything coming along quite nicely. Now all I've got to do is figure out which path we want with which character. Um, I'm kind of thinking 
Regular turbocharged Donkey Kong. My life would be so much more simplistic if we just called them Donkey Kong. Yet I know when I do that, people will pounce on me and they'll say, It's not Donkey Kong, it's turbocharged Donkey Kong, you idiot. Uh, as if they watch, they zoom in right to that one point in the video and they didn't watch anything before it, nor anything after it. But, <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of thinking regular DK takes powder keg power and then pointy preparations which is like the spiked barrels and stuff I'm kind of thinking we'll let dark turbocharged Donkey Kong do that not a hundred percent sure but that's what I'm leaning towards I want to make sure I don't think I have uh, his soul gym yet and I could have sworn I got his and Bowser's oh, I've got it okay I thought I did now does it not Hmm. Anyway, I'll deal with that some other time. The good news is we've got it. Uh, the other good news is I think I'm going to do everyone a favor and uh, get these editing, play some Animal Crossing, and not record the upgrade pass tonight. I'm just too tired. I feel like my voice has sort of come back in, but it's still feeling like it could go out at any minute. So, That said, we got everything documented, everything logged. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned a little something, leave a like. Uh, your support is much appreciated. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts here. Uh, were you aware of the discrepancies between supercharged versions of the same character uh, when they're all deco like this? Uh, so little things like this most people could care less about, and if... <laughs> If you're one of those people that cares about that, that's probably why you're on my channel to begin with. So try to deliver the little details that other people overlook. That's kind of become our staple over the years. Uh, plus, aside from that, I don't think anybody else does what we do logging the attack damage numbers anyway. So we're just taking our game to the next level, even though the competition isn't pushing us there. So uh, that said, again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Donkey Kong. Which pass would you take with Dark and Regular? Would you of what I just suggested there at the end, or would you do vice versa? It's either it's an either or. There's no other option. There's not like C, so you can't cop out. C for cop out. You have to pick path one or path two there. So let me know what you would do, and uh, let me know what you think of those hats. I kind of think this is a good fit for him, the aviator. We'll probably find him a better one later on, but just randomly playing through grinding coins, this one came to me, and I think it looks good with him. Uh, seems to be making his head itch a little bit, so uh, I don't know, maybe we'll find a banana hat or something. But uh, once again, thanks so much for watching oneofweasdom.com, skylanderclub.com. If you like what you see on the forum, uh, feel free to sign up again, skylanderclub.com. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Again, uh, now that these are done, I should be live streaming. Uh, here from the Wii U Chapter 6 all the way up through, I guess, like the Spellpunk library. Kind of get us caught back up with the Xbox One. So stay tuned for that. Not sure if it'll be commentated or not. Uh, it's kind of nice to go through without commentating it. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you prefer and I'll try to deliver there. But again, for myself and Dark Turbo... Dark? For myself and Supercharged Dark Turbo... Donkey Kong. Uh, thanks so. That's a lot of a lot of modifiers to misplace there, isn't it? But uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you back here for the next installment of Skylander Superchargers Research.